This episode brought to you by Noble Gold. Over the years, you've probably tried different investments in stocks and mutual funds. So you know they can be up and down all over the place. But with inflation running at 8.5%, its highest rate for 40 years, do you really need uncertainty? Being able to sleep at night knowing your investments aren't going to crash is worth its weight in gold. And this month, for every cash deal above 20K, you'll get an incredible three ounce silver American virtue coin, completely free as a thing. Thank you. So call 877-646-5347 now to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. You can find that link in the description and make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. Remember way back in the ancient past of 2021, where the Democrats and their media mouthpieces were accusing Donald Trump of inciting riots by telling people to fight like hell for their country. Fight like hell. And if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. President Trump is known for his blunt, off-the-cuff style of speaking. And that could be why the Senate convicts him this month for inciting an insurrection. Urging his thousands of followers to walk down Pennsylvania Avenue and fight like hell. Less than an hour later, the first violence at the Capitol. You've got uh, this, this, this president, this gangster. When you have the president of the United States um, grooming you to believe that the election was stolen, our democracy, our democracy is at stake, fight like hell. But because they believed that they were following his orders, they said so. Officials sent a very strong signal on Friday that they do not intend to pursue a case against President Trump or any of the speakers on stage uh, for, for comments made, for incendiary remarks made in the, before the violence. In reality, Trump was just using a phrase he had used many times on the campaign trail. And a phrase commonly used by Democrats themselves, as was pointed out by Trump's lawyer during his second impeachment. Maybe you know why there aren't uprisings all over the country, and maybe there will be. There needs to be unrest in the streets for as long as there is unrest in our lives. You gotta be ready to throw a punch. Well, you have to be ready to throw a punch. Donald Trump, I think you need to go back and, and punch him in the face. That I thought he should have punched him in the face. I feel like punching him. I'd like to take him behind the gym if I were in high school. If we were in high school, I'd take him behind the gym and beat the hell out of him. No, I wish we were in high school, I could take him behind the gym. I will go and take Trump out tonight. Take him out now. Okay. When was the last time an actor assassinated a president? They're still gonna have to go out and put a bullet in Donald Trump. Show me where it says that protests are supposed to be polite and peaceful. an awful lot about blowing up the White House. Please, get up in the face of some Congress people. People will do what they do. I want to tell you, Gorsuch, I want to tell you, Kavanaugh, you have released the whirlwind, and you will pay the price. We're going to go in there, we're going to impeach the <laughs> well, This is just a warning to you Trumpers. Be careful. Walk lightly. And for those of you who are soldiers, make them pay. If you had to be stuck in an elevator with either President Trump, Mike Pence, or Jeff Sessions, who would it be? Does one of us have to come out alive? <laughs> Another common talking point that we've been hearing from the Democrats and their media is that unless they continue to win elections, then democracy is over. Well, yeah, we never did have a democracy. We have a sort of mix of a democracy and a republic, but we were founded as a republic. In any case, their hyperbolic fear-mongering hinges on their insane claim that Republicans hate democracy, are authoritarians, and want to dismantle American institutions. It's like, aren't these all things that describe the Democrat party and the left in general? Despite their vague vague charges and insanely divisive propagandized rhetoric, it's plainly clear to most of us that the Democrats and the left are guilty of everything they accuse us of being. For example, like I've pointed out many times since at least the year 2000, every single election Democrats have lost, they claim was stolen and illegitimate. They are quite open about wanting to dismantle things like the nuclear family, the police, and other American institutions, which they deem part of a white supremacist conspiracy. Well, with the latest Supreme Court 
rulings, they've left nothing to the imagination and are openly doing all the exact same things they accuse and impeach Trump for allegedly doing. We suffer this violence because, because of six conservatives on the Supreme Court. It is their fault. And until we start acting like it, we will continue to suffer the violence. You love killing babies? Yeah, I fucking love killing babies. You love killing babies. right now okay we have a security problem outside members please go to please go stop There is a war out there, and we need to recognize that we've got to armor up. Nobody cares what you think, you misogynist, cis, white, transphobic, subhuman. Both sides are not equal. It's completely different when we do it because we have good reasons for doing it. As usual, we're all going to be gaslit and forced to sit and watch as Democrats incite mass riots across the country and will be treated based on completely different standards that will maximize Democrat power because that's simply the way our masters want it to be. All right, folks, hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe for regular content. If you want to support, please check out Patreon, subscribe, Subscribe, star, or PayPal. You can find all those links in the description or pinned comment. Thanks a lot. See you on the next one.